Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Before we dive into the details of the latest release, let's talk a little about what Cache OS is. Cache OS is a Linux distribution based on Arch Linux. Arch Linux is known for being fast, lightweight and customizable, but is also known for being a bit tricky for beginners. Cache OS makes Arch Linux more user-friendly by providing pre-configured settings and tools that make everything work smoothly out of the box. Think of Arch Linux as a super customizable black canvas, and Cache OS has the same canvas but with some really nice base colors and tools already included to help you create something amazing without starting completely from scratch. Now let's get to the exciting part, the new features and improvements in the December 2024 release of Cache OS. So let's break it down. The Linux kernel is basically the heart of the operating system. It's what connects the software, like the apps you use, to the hardware, like your computer's CPU, GPU and memory. The December 2024 release of Cache OS comes with the latest version of the kernel, called 6.12 LTS. The LTS part stands for Long Term Support, which means this kernel will receive updates and bug fixes for a longer time compared to regular versions. This makes it a great choice for stability and performance. But that's not all. The Cache OS team has enabled a feature called Auto FDO or Automatic Feedback Direct Optimization. What is Auto FDO? Auto FDO helps the operating system make smarter decisions about how to use your computer's hardware. It's like having a personal coach for your system, tweaking things behind the scenes to make them run just a little better. The improvements are small for now, but they're laying the ground for even bigger boosts in the future. The Cache OS team says we'll see more noticeable improvements once a new version of a software called LLVM9 team is ready by the end of the year, so stay tuned for that. If you play games or do anything graphics heavy, this one's for you. The new Cache OS release replaces the default OpenCL driver in the Mesa graphics stack with something called Rusty CL. Let me break it down. OpenCL is a technology that helps your computer's graphics card handle certain tasks like rendering 3D images or accelerating apps that use a lot of graphics power. Rusty CL is a newer, better driver for OpenCL that's written in a programming language called Rust. It's faster, more reliable and works better with modern hardware. So if you're into gaming, video editing or anything else that uses your GPU, this update could mean smoother performance and fewer glitches. Ok, this one may sound a bit advanced, but it's actually pretty simple. A kernel scheduler is like a traffic cup for your computer's CPU. It decides which task gets processed first and this can have a big impact on how fast and responsive your system feels. The new Cache OS release includes a tool called CX Loader, which makes it super easy to switch between different schedulers depending on what you're doing. Whether you're gaming, coding or just browsing the web, you can pick the scheduler that works best for your needs without any hassle. This is a small but super handy addition. The Cache OS installer now includes support for Bluetooth. This means you can connect Bluetooth devices like headphones or keyboards right during the installation process. It's one less thing to worry about setting up later. If you've ever had Wi-Fi issues, you'll appreciate this update. The new release includes something called Wireless RegDB by default. This is a database that helps your Wi-Fi adapter follow the rules and regulations for wireless signals in your region. The result? better Wi-Fi performance and fewer connection problems. Plus, if you're lucky enough to have a Wi-Fi 6 router, the new Cache OS Handheld Edition now supports Wi-Fi 6. This means faster speeds and better performance on compatible devices. Here are some other updates that may not sound flashy but make a big difference in day-to-day -day use. The UMask settings for the boot directory has been fixed. This prevents unauthorized access to sensitive system files. Internet connections checks during installation are now more reliable, so you're less likely to run into issues. The selection of VAPI drivers have been fixed. These drivers are important for things like video playback and encoding. There is a new script that makes it easier to run apps using the Zinc graphics driver, which is great for certain hardware setups. The CCTL configuration has been revamped, which means the system score settings are now fine-tuned for better performance and reliability. If you're already using Cache OS, updating to the latest version is super easy. Just open a terminal and run the following command. This will download and install all the latest updates. 
If you prefer a graphical interface, you can also use the Plasma Discover Package Manager to update your system. If you're new to CacheOS and want to give it a try, you can download the latest ISO file from their official website. Just burn it to a USB stick, boot it up and follow the on-screen instructions. The installer is straightforward and beginner-friendly. You might be wondering, why should I care about another Linux distro? Well, CacheOS stands out because it combines the power and flexibility of Arch Linux with user-friendly features that make it accessible to almost anyone. Whether you're a gamer, developer or just someone who wants a fast and reliable operating system, CacheOS has something for you. Here's a quick recap of why the December 2024 release is worth checking out. A modern high-performance Linux kernel with features like Auto FDO for smarter optimization. Better graphics performance with Rusty CL and improved Wi-Fi functionality. Tools and fixes that make the system more secure, reliable and easy to use. Support for cutting-edge technologies like Wi-Fi 6 and advanced kernel schedulers. If you've been curious about Linux but felt overwhelmed by all the options and technical details, CacheOS could be a great place to start. It gives you the best of both worlds, the power of Arch Linux and the ease of use of a more beginner-friendly distro. That's it. If you're excited about trying CacheOS or have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss future videos about Linux and open source technology. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.